I'm gonna show you guys one of the easiest ways that you can make money by selling pictures online in 2023. So let's get started. And no, this is not the website I want you to connect to. This is the one. I want you guys to head over to submit.shutterstock.com and this is where our journey begins. What you wanna do is become a contributor. And in case you're wondering how much money is on the table, we're talking about over a billion dollars with a B paid out to their users over the last 15 years. This is one of the biggest marketplaces when it comes to stock footage that you can connect to. And this is where a lot of people People who are passionate about photography upload their photos in order to get paid and that's precisely what you can do as well you get to create high quality images and videos for their customers to download then submit your content upload it to their platform and ultimately get paid you're gonna make money every single time your content gets downloaded by one of their users and if you have some other friends who are interested in making money by uploading pictures you can refer them and earn some cool bonuses now when it comes to the sign up process all you have to do once you've connected to the web website is click on get started and that will allow you to enter in your basic information these guys are not going to be too intrusive we're talking about a full name your display name email address and the password and as long as you're over 18 years of age you should be good to go but you're to understand the full picture and let's take a look at the website from a regular user's perspective let's say that we are someone who's interested in downloading stock footage for some specific reason well as soon as you connect to shutterstock.com you can start browsing or you can start searching for a specific topic now you might think that you need to be a professional photographer and come up with some spectacular footage in order to pull this off but that's not true people are not that interested in scenery people are not gonna download photos of mountains and lakes and spectacular scenery that's not what shutterstock is used for it's mainly used as a search engine and i can show you a clear example of that there are a lot of youtube channels out there that use stock footage in their videos in their editing in order to make the videos a little bit more engaging you see we cannot just use random footage that we can get off of google in our videos because those will get demonetized or we can get a copyright strike we don't have the rights to use that type of footage so what we can do instead is connect to platforms like shutter stock search for a relevant picture for our use case and download it if you have a shutterstock subscription that will give you the right to reuse it even for commercial purposes and so it is far more likely that a user will connect to shutterstock and search for something like entrepreneur and once they do that they will find a bunch of different relevant pictures and so they will download one of these they might apply a few more filters and so on and so forth but what you gotta understand is that if you really want to stand out from the crowd on shutterstock as a contributor because the competition is quite tough if you ask me what you need to do is use shutterstock Stock as a search engine. Understand that people connect to this website and search for specific keywords and if you're able to provide the supply for that demand that's how you can get a lot of downloads. You need to find keywords that people are searching for. Popular topics that don't have that many relevant pictures that you can take full advantage of. And believe it or not Shutterstock will genuinely help you out with that. If you connect to this website right here shutterstock.com slash explore slash the shot list they will literally display a list of the most requested pictures in a specific month. I'm recording this video in December 2022, so here are the most requested ideas in December. Aging youthfully. This is the topic that people are searching for. Shutterstock is looking for energetic, fun moments of people over the age of 50 doing a variety of activities. They've got a comprehensive description here that you can look at. And if you manage to fit their criteria, you can upload these designs and get a bunch of downloads. Again, these are the most requested pictures here's another one new year new you especially during this time of the year people are searching for that transformation in video another sub niche that you can take advantage of and as people say the riches are in the niches so instead of going for a very generic topic instead of just taking some outdoor pictures and trying to be a professional photographer even if you're not what i would recommend that you do if you're somewhat passionate about photography is focus on very specific subjects that are in demand try to understand what people are searching for try to offer a supply for that demand and you will never fail lived in interiors here's another topic and these will actually get updated on a monthly basis so you may want to keep an eye out for that but now shutterstock is not the only option we also have getty images and i want you guys to head over to the contributor section again this is where you can sell your work so if you're interested in becoming a contributor you can send in your application and once that gets accepted you're good to go you can start uploading pictures and get paid whenever they get downloaded you get access to the largest global distribution 
distribution networks, including Getty Images.com and iStock.com, and customers can find your files when they match their search. Remember, it's a search engine. Whenever they buy a license to use your content, you'll get paid. It is as simple as that. It's a first step process when it comes to the application. You need to download the app, upload three to six sample photos and illustrations or videos, whatever you're focusing on, and ensure that you are the copyright holder. But if you are the one who took that photo, you shouldn't worry about that. Then your samples will get reviewed and if they match the quality standards, which is an important one, you will be accepted. And so there is a chance that your designs may not get accepted. Even though you do everything correctly, you go through the sign up process, you may not get accepted just because the photos or illustrations do not match the quality standards. That is a possibility, so we need to consider it. However, don't worry too much about it because there are a bunch of other websites out there, including Adobe Stock. If you head over to contributor.stock.adobe.com, that's quite a mouthful. This is just another marketplace that you can leverage. Again, they've got a bunch of traffic, it's free to join, and it's a question of taking those pictures and uploading them. But now guys, if you're still watching this video, I've got a bonus for you. If you also want to have fun while uploading pictures onto Shutterstock and all of these stock footage, websites, then you may want to focus on drone photography instead. You can get a decent camera drone for about $400 and if you're looking for professional image quality, we're looking at an investment of around 2000 bucks. But again, a decent camera drone will cost you about $400, which is not insanely expensive. And you can recover that investment quite easily by uploading all of that footage that you're taking with your drone onto the stock footage websites. Let me just look it up. If you want to look it up, you got to search for Ariel. It's a category of its own and there's some really cool footage here, I'm not gonna lie. But again guys, you want to niche down. You want to find something that you're particularly good at and focus on that. Because otherwise you're competing against millions of other pictures, some of which are incredibly good. But let's just imagine this scenario for a second. Let's say that you've just purchased a camera drone, you're playing around with it, you don't really know how to use it properly yet but you are learning and so you take it with you whenever you're traveling and recording footage taking pictures and so on well you can document your journey and create a theme page on instagram or a youtube channel or a tiktok page posting content while you are learning and so apart from uploading pictures on their shutterstock and iStock photo and adobe stock and all of these other websites you can make some extra cash by building a social media presence doesn't necessarily matter which platform you go for it once you have a a good size following there are a bunch of ways to monetize that and it's a fun process altogether and here's a great example of a channel that's doing it the right way now you can tell they've been doing this for a while right but if we take a look at their most popular uploads we've got videos here with millions of views if you head over to the about section you can see they've generated close to 75 million views so far now I'm not entirely sure what kind of RPMs they are getting in this niche specifically but they've probably made hundreds of thousands of dollars most likely off of that traffic alone and I'm talking about ad revenue if they also have some affiliate offers in the description where they've launched their own products they are making a lot more than that and that is just by seeking their passion I'm 100% sure that they use drones anyway and just by recording video of that and posting them they're also making money off of it so just imagine that for a second getting paid for something that you actually enjoy doing but let's not get completely sidetracked at the end of the day you've got three different websites that you can connect to in order to start selling pictures so that's it for now and thanks for watching